Good day and welcome to another session of Family Equipping Ministry. Last week, we learned about the believer's position as saved and secured by the will of God the Father. It was God's will to reconcile us to Himself by sending His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, buried, and on the third day, rising again. It was God's solution for our sin problem. It was God's full intention to make us His children by virtue of what Jesus had done on the cross for us. And it was for His glory that all of these things happened. Indeed, it was God the Father's will to save and secure the believer in Jesus Christ. This day, we'll be looking at the believer's position as saved and secured by the finished work of Jesus on the cross. Let us look at the following truths, shall we? The first one is this. Christ's blood bought our salvation and our security. Remember man's sin problem? We all learned last week that man is a sinner and God is a holy God. The bad news is God is just and he will justly punish the sinner. Worst news is the wage of sin is death. The truth is the sinner is on a timetable. Any moment, at any time, he will experience what the word of God says. The soul that sinneth, he shall die. What can save us from the penalty of sin, which is death? If nothing can take away our sin, the judgment of God shall fall upon us. So what can we do? Nothing. But here's the good news. God did something. He sent His only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, be buried, and on the third day, rise again, according to the Scriptures. That by the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross, our passage in verse 7 says, In whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Jesus' blood bought us. And by the blood of Jesus Christ, salvation and security is offered freely to us. The next truth that we can see is that Christ's blood is binding to save and secure us. Christ's blood shed on the cross is binding, meaning to say, it was acceptable and efficacious before God. And none can say otherwise. It is binding because it is premised on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross who was delivered for our offenses and raised again for our justification. We, therefore, are blood-bought. This becomes our ultimate distinction from the world and our ultimate binding agent with our fellow believers that all things may be gathered together in Christ. The last truth is Christ's blood ultimately benefits us for our salvation and security for the glory of God. We have no participation in our salvation and security. It is all by the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. For this reason, no man can boast of his salvation. All glory belongs to God. The only call for salvation in this dispensation of grace is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ, God the Son, finished work on the cross that saved and secured us. Therefore, we put our trust in Him. May you and your family see what the Lord Jesus has done for you and for your family for your salvation and your security. Have a nice day and may the Lord bless you.